Now we're going to put the spotlight on a couple of fights or fighters that jump off the page for us this weekend at that UFC Vegas 49 card. First and foremost, want to throw a shout out to Pedro the Dragon, Jonathan Martinez. Jonathan Martinez. He's one of the scrappiest dudes, I feel like, in that entire Bantamweight mix. Yeah. Jonathan's one of those dudes who's just, he's so fun to fight. You watch the way that he throws that left knee and the Ugh. way that he hooks off of it. Bro, I mean, that's, he's that's so almost smooth. like a, when he throws his hook at times, it's almost like a street fight type of hook. Yeah. Yeah. But, it he did. finds its mark and it's beautiful. He's he's kind of unassuming and you would never know the type of fury that he goes into fights with. He looks so calm until he attacks. And it is. It's like a street mentality that the kid just goes out there. Technical, technical street fight. But the kid goes out there and just throws with menacing power. Certainly. And especially if he gets into a phone booth with somebody, like you're, you're going to see a true warrior. You see a kid who will bite down on his mouthpiece and he will swing until somebody goes down. Yeah. And phew, I feel bad for that guy. Oh yeah. And I mean, hopefully this guy isn't, you know, he isn't on the sauce because his last opponent, we, as we all found out, popped for clomiphene shortly after. Yeah. Clomiphene. Interesting. Interesting. No, I, a little birdie, uh, on the tweeter said that this fight originally was at one thirty five. And the opponent, I might be breaking news here, the opponent, a little chubby. So I think they're going to bump this one up to a 45, maybe, possibly. So that tells you a lot of what you need to know about the mentality of the opponent going in. So I hope Jonathan just breaks him in half. Certainly. And if we also, to be fair, if we know Jonathan, that probably helps work out in his favor, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, yeah. just just being yeah. fair, trying to being be unbiased and balanced. I am totally here. biased, but Jordan is not. So don't listen I'm to what I'm trying to be fair on that. One. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. That helps us continue to produce this original MMA content and bring it for you every single week. Tune in to the MMA plug presented by DenverSportsBetting.com on 98.1 FM Mile High Sports Radio on Wednesday nights from six to seven PM. 